Hey everyone, in this video, I wanna talk about the most common problem I see when teaching the low bar squat. I'm gonna include some clips of me squatting so that you can see in real time what it should look like. Nice. The most common mistake I see when people are trying to perform the low bar squat is remaining too vertical. This is completely understandable because we're often told head up, chest up. The way I perform a low bar squat and the way I teach a low bar squat, you have to bend over or lean forward. Bending over, leaning forward is going to place the barbell over the middle of your foot, which is where you're most balanced. If you stand up tall and put the low bar, put the bar low on your back, you're gonna have to bend over in order to get it into a position that's over the middle of your foot, and you're gonna have to maintain it there all the way down and all the way up. By bending over or by leaning forward, you are decreasing or closing at the angle of your hips and at the angle of your knees. When you decrease or close this angle that your torso and thigh make and the angle that your thigh and shin make, you are putting yourself in a position to use the most amount of muscle to move the weight. By bending over and closing at the angle of the hips and at the knees, I can use my quads, the muscle of the hips, hamstrings, adductors, and lower back. The fact that you can use more muscle mass to move the weight is why almost any individual who understands how to perform the low bar squat or is correctly trained how to low bar squat can squat more weight than they can if they were to perform the front squat or the high bar squat. Saying, nah, you know, I trained the low bar squat once and it was real funky so I went back to high bar squat and now I can high bar squat more than I can low bar is an invalid argument. And I want you to understand that I don't care what style of squat you use, I'm just explaining to you why I prefer the low bar squat and why I teach it to my clients. This is simply an instructional video to help you perform the low bar squat better. So please spare us the ridiculous comments down below. When we look at the high bar squat or the front squat, you are actively bending at the knee only. Now, the angle of your hips is staying relatively open when compared to a low bar squat. Naturally, the angle of your hips when you're performing a high bar squat or a front squat is going to close because your thigh is coming closer to your torso, but you are not closing at the same degree you would if you were to bend over during the low bar squat. If you try to bend over and close at the hip during a high bar squat or a front squat, the weight's gonna come forward on your toes, you're gonna dump it forward. The low bar squat puts the barbell in a position that allows you to bend at the hips and the knees while maintaining balance throughout the entire squat. Now, many people will say that when they bend over or they lean forward, they feel like they're losing balance forward and they go onto their toes. This is a valid concern. I'm not telling you to blindly bend over as far as you can and continuously bend over throughout the entire squat. Everyone is going to bend over or lean forward to a varying degree, and this is based off of your body type. Generally, individuals with a short torso and very long legs are gonna have to bend over and squat with a much more horizontal torso angle than an individual with a very long torso and short legs who's gonna squat with a much more vertical torso angle and not have to lean over as much. Now, you don't have to measure your limb lengths to figure out which category you fall into. I'm just trying to paint a picture here so that you understand you might not have to bend over quite as much as I do, or you might have to bend over and lean forward quite a bit more than I do. So how do you know how much you need to bend over or lean forward? The answer is you have to bend over enough to place the barbell over the center of your foot and maintain it over the center of your foot all the way down and all the way up. Back to what I was saying about not continuously bending over or blindly just leaning forward as far as you can. You have to bend forward enough to get the barbell over the center of your foot. So at the top of the squat is when you adjust the angle of your torso. So ideally, you would stand up tall at the top, bend at the hips and at the knees simultaneously to lean forward and get the barbell over the center of your foot. Once you're in position, once you have the correct chest position and torso angle, maintain that torso position and chest position all the way down till the bottom and then all the way back up. The common error that I see and the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of individuals will find the correct torso angle on the way down, but then out of the bottom, 
they will immediately lift their chest and try to become more vertical. They're leading with their chest. This is incorrect. Instead, once you find that torso angle and that correct chest position, maintain that position all the way down and then out of the bottom, drive your hips up. Drive your ass up. The starting strength model refers to this as hip drive or hip drive. When you lean forward and get into the correct torso angle, squat down to the bottom and immediately lift your chest or lead with your chest, your hips are not driving up, they're driving forward. This is incorrect and this is not hip drive. So the goal is to stand up at the top, bend your knees and bend your hips into a correct position that allows the barbell to be balanced over the middle of your foot, maintain that torso angle and that chest position all the way down, lead with your hips, drive your hips up while maintaining that same torso angle. At the top, you can stand back up. So if you notice, the only time that I adjust my torso angle is at the top of the descent to lean forward into position, I'll go down maintaining that same torso angle, drive my hips up maintaining the same torso angle, and then at the top quarter of the ascent, I'll stand back up. So I adjust my body at the very top quarter of the descent, I maintain that position at the top quarter of the ascent standing back up, then I can stand up tall. Now on that note, when I say that you have to lean forward, get into the correct torso angle position and maintain that torso angle all the way down, and all the way up, meaning I don't want you to squat down and immediately become more vertical. I also don't want you to stand up and immediately become excessively horizontal. This is pretty common with individuals who are trying to understand the concept of hip drive. By driving your hips up, their chest is going to drop and become a little bit more horizontal. Don't freak out if this happens. With a lot of practice and possibly a coach's eye, all those wrinkles will iron themselves out. The goal is to get into position, maintain that torso angle all the way down, drive your hips up while maintaining that same torso angle. Don't become more vertical, don't become more horizontal. Now lastly, I've talked about this on this channel, my coach Austin Baraki has talked about it on this channel, and I'm gonna mention it very briefly. You have to bend at the hips, or close the angle of your hips, and bend at the knees at the same time. Do not bend over without bending your knees. Your hips and your knees bend at the same time. Once you have got into correct position, maintain that position all the way down and then drive your hips up. A common mistake that a lot of people have, myself included, is bending over, bending the knees. Once they're in position, you'll go down, you'll squat too deep or you'll relax at the bottom and your knees slide forward or bounce forward. If your knees are shifting forward, this is gonna be countered with your knees shifting back. And your hips are gonna end up shooting back behind you rather than driving up. I don't want your hips to spit back excessively. I want your hips to drive up. This leads to a good morning squat or the two motion squat where your hips shoot up in absence of the barbell and then your chest rises. So to fix that, again, maintain torso angle and knee position all the way down, and then stand back up, maintaining the same torso angle. Drop into it. Up. Boy. Easy. The squat. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and always remember... Tread on time!